This is Edelkron Slider Plus with Motion Kit. It is a smart, motorized slider that can be controlled by an app. Let me put it this way. If a regular slider is a child's radio flyer, then this is Batman's Tumblr. And it lets you create incredible looking footage like this. The entire system comes in this box. Mm, okay, maybe not. This is just a trigger cable. But this is Flex Tilt Head 2 for your pan and tilt needs. I have this and this steady module for a different setup where I like to get a beauty shot manually without electric motors. Steady module is great for that because it makes things smoother compared to using a slider with your hand. This is the focus module. You need a lens with mechanical focus system for this. If your lens is focused by wire, it will not work. This is the slide module. And this is the head module. And this is slider plus. Now, let's talk about them. Let's begin with the slider. First of all, this thing is made from CNC machined aluminum and stainless steel. Look at this tripod mount. And it's gone. So when it's time to put this in your bag, it won't cause any damage. It's seriously sturdy and if you want, you can add these legs. So it won't fall this way or this way when you have a camera hanging out from the side. And almost everything is fine tunable. And all you need is these tools that are provided by Adelchrome. Using slider with bare hands requires precision, patience, sometimes rubber bands, sometimes a t-shirt under your elbows dragging your fingers along and sometimes holding back your sneeze as hard as you can. But if you don't want that, Edelkron has this steady module. You simply place it there and adjust the tension with this and you can move it really slow. Actually, even slower. And if you don't want to mount a tripod head, you can use this. So now I can easily get this shot done and I don't have to worry. I can actually probably can even do it with one hand. Left hand. Very impressive. Now on the table this slider may look like a regular sized slider. Like for example this one. This is the slider I use in my videos and the travel distance is more or less the same. But see this slider is not a shower, it is a grower. So when you place this on a tripod, something magical happens. It travels twice its size. 
At this point, I'd like to remind you that you need a really sturdy tripod. This is going to be as stable as your tripod can support. So apart from having a slider that is so compact and easy to travel with, because this thing gets out of your way once you're pulling out, it gives you better dolly in and out range. And then you can add this motorized slide module to your slider. You can either use LPE6 batteries or you can plug it. I'm gonna use the batteries. Now I can go to my Slider Plus app and here we are. On the ground right now, so we select on the ground. You can start moving it as you wish. You can make it stop fast or if you drag from the bottom here, you can make it stop slow or you can select speed and hit slide. And when you hold it down, it just starts looping. You can select the ease in and out amount. And there you go. It is doing this all by itself. And you can convert it to a time lapse and it gives you a lot of settings. And then you set these up. You want the time lapse duration to be one hour or whatever. And then you hit start. You can turn off your phone. Your phone doesn't need to be connected. And then you go by your business. Or if you want to make a stop motion, you select stop motion and then that's it. So now once I set this up, I don't have to worry about anything. I just hit slide. And it takes care of it <laughs> for me. From here, things get a little crazy. This is the head module. Yes, it may sound like your ex's nickname, but unlike your ex, this thing is smart and it turns this slider into a monster. So now when I go back to the app and I'm going to choose on the ground and I'm going to say pan and tilt is aligned as shown. And as you can see, the interface has changed. Now first, I want to go to key pose. And in key pose, what I can do is I can just manually grab this, go here and point at this guy and hold down key pose A. I can even take a photo to remember what the key pose is. And then I can go to my second point. Say so this is our second point and select key pose B. And now let's speed it up a little bit and let's turn down ease in and out so we don't waste much time. Now when I hit key pose A, just goes to what I set to. When I hit, of course, key pose B, it goes to the amazing Casio VL tone. If I hold this down, it will loop between A and B. I can add up to six key poses and go in between them. And then when we get out of key pose, there's this feature that I kind of jumped over because I wanted to save it. And that is targets. This is how it works. You go to one point and you point your camera and then you hold down target one and it tells you to go to another point and point at exactly the same thing, which is I picked this red reset button here. So now I'm gonna go here and point at exactly the same thing, the red reset button. And now I'm gonna hit done. Let's take a photo just for funsies. Now, while this target is selected, when I hit slide, it is going to track that little keyboard for me. If we add a second target, let's add Cartman as our second target. And now I can select the transition time between targets. If you don't want your slider to go too far, let's say this is point A, this is point B. So now what I can do is I can select Cartman and hit slide. While it's going there, I can select the keyboard And it switches between them. 
This means you can assign six targets and switch between them as the camera slides from one end to the other. You can actually record what you do and repeat it as many times as you want. Not just in real time, you can repeat it in time lapse or stop motion mode, which opens doors to crazy possibilities. If you have lenses that are not focused by wire, you can use this focus module, which I don't. But if you do, when you set this up, it understands where the object is from the focusing distance. So you don't need to move the slider to another point and point at the same thing to teach where the item you're trying to track is. You point at it, you focus at it, and then it knows where it is. Since all the lenses I own are focused by wire, I had to adapt, overcome, improvise, and make something better out of it. And I did. I connected the focus module to zoom ring and ended up with fantastic dolly zooms. This system lets you create wonders. But just like any other professional systems or gadgets like gimbal or a drone, you have to know how to use it. You have to take a couple of minutes and learn how to tune this thing properly. By the way, it is very easy and the app shows you how to do it step by step. I love coming across brands that are passionate about what they do. The brands that trust their products. When I visited Edelkron in NAB, I spent a lot of time exploring their products. In a chaotic, crazy exhibition where my OCD acts like Superman in front of Kryptonite, where everything is untidy and loud, they built this clean and beautiful set showcasing their products. I'm so proud that such global brands started in the country I grew up in, Turkey. And I cannot wait to witness how far they will go. I think this is gonna add a great value to my channel when it comes to the beauty shots. It's gonna make everything a lot easier. I'm gonna be working a lot faster and the beauty shots are going to look better and more professional, which makes me very excited. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Adel Cron Slider Plus Plus Motion Kit in the comment section below. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoşçakalın.